Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing uh, the last theorem that we will be having in our course being theorem number 21. The square of the length of a tangent from an external point is equal to the product of the interval of a second passing through the same exterior point. So what do you mean by this? Um, it's just like this. You will have a tangent line. Say we have tangent line AD. Okay, and then you will have a second, you will have second CD. And, of course, they would meet at a specific point, um, a, an outside point, which is, of course, point D. Okay, and then in this point D, of course, if you have a second, you will have intervals, meaning your given line will be divided into two parts. Not necessarily equal, but it will be divided into two parts. What are those two parts? The two parts would be, of course, CB and you have DB. Okay? CB and DB. And what is this theorem telling us about that if you get the square of ad if you get the square of ad and you mul and that would be equals to the product of the entire second which is cd times the external segment which is dd and that's it whole whole times external part is equals to the square of the external part here okay so for us to get a better understanding of that Let's go to GeoGebra and let's have this figure. Again, in this theorem, it will require you to have one tangent, which is, of course, we have BB, and one second, we have CD. Okay? So, again, we have an exter um, external point D, common point of the tangent, and the second, and the given second is divided into two parts, being CE and TE. And the theorem states that DB squared, let's just, let's just write it down, db squared segment db squared is equals to the product of the entire second cd times the external part which is de okay so let's try to find ano bang measurement na itong mga given parts na to so that we can um, actually try to solve our um, problem okay so we have the entire sec um, second being 13.21 we have the external part of the second being 4.11 and then we have the entire tangent line as 7.37 so okay so what do we need to do we need to substitute okay by substitution we will have 7.37 squared is equals to the entire second is 13.21 times 4.11 which is of course the external part of the second so, solving using our calculators, we will have 7.37 squared. 7.37 squared, the answer is 54. Let's round up to 2 decimal. Round up, 30.32. And we have 13.21 times, uh, I think this is 7. Yeah, I know, it's 4.11. The answer is, wait lang, okay, the mouse is here. The answer is 54. Point twenty nine. So again, let's look at the given. It's not exact. It's not equal, but it is approximately the same. And let's try to subtract this one. Fifty four point thirty two minus fifty four point twenty nine. The difference is just very minimal, and it's zero point zero three. And I told you that if the um the difference is just a measly zero point zero hundredths or any number, it's negligible. When you talk about negligible, okay lang na hindi natin tanggapin. I, I mean, na hindi natin pansinin. Okay? It's okay that we do not um, mind that small difference and we still assume that they are equal or approximately close to each other. Then again, this theorem would also be true on whatever given that you will do. So, for example, let's have, uh, let's move the point. Let's move the point here. Okay? Um, yeah, let's make it here. Yeah, I know it's not a second anymore. Let's move it like this. Yeah, so it would uh, it would give us with a seven. Wait long. Let's make it eight. Yeah, or nine. So let's try to solve. Um, the set the tangent is nine point twenty five squared, and the second line is fourteen point ninety three times five point seventy three. Let's try to solve it. Na, huh? and prove whether we are correct or not. 9.25 square, 9 squared is 
5.56, two decimal places lang tayo. 14.93 times 5.73, the answer is same. It's the same. Ah, not same. Approximately close. 5.55. Again, difference of 0 0.01 and difference of 0 0.0 hundredths, okay, or a hundredths in decimal is negligible, meaning we accept the given, therefore proving that our theorem is correct. And lastly, um, again, uh, we just simply say that state that um, the use of this one is if you will have something that is missing, you can look for it. Okay? And how do you how do we try to look for it? Um, say that we don't know the value of nine point twenty five. So we can solve for nine point twenty five if you will just simply get the square root of. Um, say you don't know this one. Let's uh, let's let's remove this one. You don't know that value, so the only thing that you have is some um, this given yeah, equals to fourteen point ninety three times five point seventy three, and you do know that this is db squared. I'll get the square root of this one, and the square root of that one would be the square root of fourteen point ninety three times five point seventy three. The answer is nine point twenty. I oh, sorry. Let's uh let's get the exact value now. The answer is 9.24. That is dB. Okay? And checking the given, let's check the measurement of this given segment. Oh, yes. It's so close. 0 0.01 difference. Okay? So, this can be used to find the missing parts, the measure of the missing part. Okay? So, I think that would be all. Very easy lang naman. Um, if you have any other questions, you can consult the video or ask me in our um, group. Thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.